Hey, welcome. We are making more and more articles and videos for the new guys. The new guys are Spectre WM. We just made a video about how to install Spectre WM with Arc Linux D. Remember, there are different ways to install a desktop. But starting with Arc Linux DI, so that you can install it via Calamars, option one, or you can use it via scripts. And this video is about the article of this guy, which is still to be created. So the video, the article is already there. I need a nice new image, a new video, etc. So let's make this video. In the Spectre WM, I've um, chosen, so there's a choice, to install the desktop via Calamars during the installation. Inside Calamaris, you can say, I want to have this desktop plus this desktop and that desktop or just one, right? So there's a choice there or, and that's the point and that's the power I think in Arch Linux D, don't do anything and just get a Arch Linux installation, which has, we just counted in the previous video, nine Arch Linux packages and that's it. And all the rest is Arch, 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 right? And then you run your scripts, the things you want to install with the sudo pacman minus s something. And then you do your thing. And this can be your operating system too, starting to work from, uh, let's say, uh, in Lego terms, your big uh, red uh, square. And then you build up with a browser, this editor, that, and so on. So we are gonna run Calamars to be able to install Arch Linux D. This is still um, the one that's not out and it's in, at this point in time, this is the time, right? So the 15th of, uh, or 19th, I believe, of September, we're going to release this version that I'm working on. And uh, it will have the new version of Calamars 3.2.29. Most of the things are the same, but what we've just added is uh, Spectre WM, but I have never made a video yet about uh, Ukui. So you choose the kernel you like, you wanna have, the services you wanna have. I'm gonna choose LightDM. So this is a new thing that will be uh, ready in uh, mid-September, but Ukui is already there and um, I'm not gonna install it via this system. So this is the Calamaris installer. I'm just gonna say skip, 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 which brings me to utter freedom. I mean, it's up to you to install what's next. But LightDM, everybody needs a display manager. Um, eventually, you don't have to install that either. I mean, you can do it in the scripts and it will be done in the scripts. Um, but okay, it's on. So you choose what you install via Calamari. So I haven't chosen the desktop, but the intention is Yukui. All right. Erase disk next. And off we go. Inspector WM, you can see that I did uh, select the desktop. This is as simple as clicking, so everybody knows how to click. But let's make another video how to get those scripts in. Let's wait for this uh, plain Arch Linux slash Arch Linux to install. And there we are. We can restart. So we got our minimal installation there. We boot up. Of course, VirtualBox sees the ISO, wants to boot again. So we boot from the hard disk. Now it's always the same procedure. We have 18 desktops, 18 things the same. You log in. Where do you live? Maybe you live in Japan or Australia or South America. So maybe it's a good thing to have a look at the mirrors. Give me the fastest Arch Linux mirror. It's always Arch that we need to update. All right. So we get the fastest download. If I press update, which would be my next thing, update my system because the ISO could be, I don't know, could be six months old. So gigabytes of software come in. Then if something from Arch Linux is written to etc scale, there is the reflex to do a scale. Now the reflex should be also there for tiling window managers. 
anything that's tiling um, has a config somewhere and it's not in your home directory it's in the etc scale until you type scale okay now you could you is not an um, tiling window manager but sometimes there will be settings in there as well like for instance arconix welcome is there but basically my message is if you have xfc mate cinnamon plasma don't type scale see what it looks like from arconix uh, perspective so no temper no no tweaking from our side and a virgin Arch Linux XFC will look totally different. So try it out. Uphold is there for all the rest. So if, if you've done these steps, then Uphold is going to look at AUR and then uh, nothing to do. I would like to have something graphical. Well, then you need to tell the system, your, your display manager, to kick in. Now you have four choices, so we don't know what you choose. So you have to say to the system, I've chosen for YTM or I've chosen for SDDM, which is not installed, which so if I press tap, it does not work. But whatever you've installed, well, you can auto complete it with tap. Done. Created symlink. If you don't see created symlink, you've got an issue. Basically it's SR or sudo reboot. And we would have, we would have a uh, system if we did the Calamaris installer. This is not a Calamaris install. These are the steps, it, what you do if you want to have a uh, Calamaris installer. So the only thing I've got until now is LightDM. And maybe I should reboot just to show you because sometimes people make that mistake and they so you have to start all over again, over again because what happens? You don't have a desktop behind it. You have LightDM, but you don't have Plasma or Mate or Cinnamon or anything behind it. So it's it's gonna work, but there is nothing here. All right, and then say, I'm logging in. Eric, it's not working, right? Fail to start session. Well, there is nothing behind. There is nothing to start. There is. It's an empty box. How do you get now back to TTY, virtual box? It is the right control F2. In an SSD system, hard disk system, it's control Alt F2, F3, F4. And then we log back in. And then we fix what we forgot. We ha don't have XFC, we don't have cinema. There is no session, no desktop. Now this video is about a QI. So this is something you need to remember. This is in your head, right? GitHub.com, ArcNXD, and then Arco, something. What desktop? Ukui. Another desktop is Mate, and so on. All the scripts are there. They create it for you, so you change them. There are your scripts. This will work, but it's our choice of packages of, of, of Lego blocks from the vast uh, choices there are in Arch Linux and AOR. Now basically, all we do need to do is make sure the numlock is on. Oh my god. Alright. And then you can just use a tab to autocomplete and you run from 100 to 800. And off we go. Now LightDM was already installed, so it says so and with a nicely green line it says okay installed already but we need to get voila all the ukuis you see at the top in the video you need to have the packages either plasma or xfc or mate but something needs to be behind the lightdm or the sdm or the lxdm which are just display managers login managers Now, it can be fun to play around with these scripts in the sense of what would happen, so a what if, eh? what would happen if I just reboot it right now. In, in the, the real desktops, like Kukui is one, 
often everything is now installed. So the question is, do I need all the other scripts that are behind? Well, there's the printers, there's um, Samba there, there is a network. Um, so there's a lot more. Bluetooth is there. The sound is there. Our development software that we like to have. So check out what's inside uh, 110. So you can do cat 110 and have a look what will be done. So Firefox, Sublime Text, Flameshot, Melt. So these are things we use to develop um, any desktop. We need to surf, we need to type, we need to have a sprint screen. Melt is just awesome. PT, the command from the Platinum search bin, searcher bin. Please take a look what it is, super interesting. It searches for a word in thousands of files. You'll find it easily. Scrot and uh, Discord, well, communication. All right, so do you want it? Well, it's entirely up to you, right? Is, is it, uh, will you install it or not? Unless will you install development, the sound, the Bluetooth, the printer, the Samba, etc. But you just run one after the other. I'm gonna have a little bit of fun and say, see the reboot already. So assuming that number 100 is just enough to work, which means our, our Arc Linux stuff is in 600. And there you go. So I haven't done any of the changes to the system. So the icons are the normal icons, the, the standard icons, not um, choice, cho no choice for us, from us, I mean. This is welcome app, so that's here. Update Arch Linux, we can make sure it's gone next time we boot. And this is your Okui, you can always already have some fun might be things that we still need. I remember this was a tricky button. So I guess we need some ap applications still to make sure that the system settings work. But basically we're already nice, right? I mean, we are in a graphical environment, Control H, we can start from here. Um, there is no right mouse click for the terminal, but here it was, yeah getting back into it. It was a nice holiday. I have to think again, how was it again, right? So 600 additional software, Arch Linux software. Decide if you want to have it or not. But um, I believe we still have here additional Arch Linux software. These are specific things. And I believe third party, maybe this in the 500 that we needed. 500, so lots of stuff in the 500. What's in there? We don't have, we don't have a application to open it yet. So sudo backman minus s sublime text. Uh, open with, there you go. Then we can at least read what I'm installing here. So some stuff for this hard code fixer. So that's not it. Ah, well, one of the packages and one of the things I just ran came the package that we need to open this particular um, well window or Yuki CC center or something, right? Software center I wouldn't say, but it's a CC, I don't know, a center for all the settings. And um, well, that concludes my video. It's just a question of installing and changing scripts. So do change the scripts. If you say, for instance, I'd like to have this um, 110. I don't want Flameshot, just uh, delete it, cheat, delete the line or add something. Just need to know the name like, um, I don't know, Vivaldi or something. Or is it Vivaldi bin? Always check it out, minus S. Everything, of course, should be written correctly because there's Vivaldi, there's different names, but that's correct, Vivaldi. All right, that concludes the video. It's up to you now to have some fun with this particular desktop and explore it. All right, cheers.